All and right. we're back. For more Would You Rather. Yes, uh, for those of you who've missed it, we are playing a game on the Pop Story in Minisodes. I'm Ben. I'm Chris. And this is Would You Rather. Uh, if you're listening to our last episode, you know that uh, we're playing. We want you to follow along on Twitter with us, answer some of these questions, and see who gives the better answers and why. All right, Ben, I think it was, was it your turn or my turn? To give uh, it you... was your turn to ask me a question. My turn to ask you a question. I feel like this question really will let us know a little bit more about you, Ben. Would you rather read Thor comics or read Zane Grey novels? Oh, that's hard because I want to do both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, neither of those things it's a good question because neither of those things are exactly on the top of my my reading list either right um is thor uh a jack kirby Did jack oh, kirby no, draw thor or is this um... i do believe he is connected i know it was the same lead character see you know you know that it's a hard question when I start asking uh, the follow-up questions. That's how you know you've got a good what, would you rather going. Well, my follow-up question, what is the, why would it make a difference to you that Jack Kirby uh, helped, helped draw this? Well, I was kind of trying to uh, zero in on what Thor comics I would be reading since it went through a lot of different writers and artists over the years. Whereas okay. Zane Grey, I would be reading one author of a lot of different that, stories, but just one kind of perspective. That's okay. what I was trying to zero in on. I think, based on that, uh, and in the interest of not overthinking it, I will say the the uh, Thor comics. I actually would agree with that. I think I would read, rather read Thor. Even though we're doing our questions by the decade and Zane Gray is very important to mm -hmm. that Western story. And I do love Zane um, Gray, based on the yeah. three or four novels of his that I've read. But, but yeah, uh, I think I think I would do the same. I guess also I've never really read too many Thor comics. I've seen some of the movies, but that would be uncharted an uncharted world to me. Whereas uh, Zane Gray, I kind of have a little bit of familiarity already. Yeah, so it would be like something new inside yeah okay okay now you're back in the hot seat here i am you sir are trapped in a parallel universe you can pick one team to come and rescue you the dc universe heroes or the marvel universe heroes totally dc all the way DC, to get you out DC of a parallel Hollywood. universe. I feel like they might have, well, I guess they, they don't have necessarily maybe more experience in the alternate universe. Maybe they don't, because you know, Marvel has a long history of that, too. But I feel like there's no one I'd rather come get me than the Justice League. Hmm. I mean, if you think about not just the main characters, I think, uh, like, of course, Batman is my, my jam. I love Batman. Mm -hmm. Superman has experience in this. Um, Swamp Thing has some experience in this, uh, but also Dr. Fate, uh, John Constantine. There's some other other characters that I'm kind of getting into right now. What about Doctor would... Strange? Doctor Strange is Marvel, my friend. I know, but wouldn't you want him to come get you if you were trapped in a I, parallel universe? I am interested in Doctor Mar uh, in Doctor Strange a little bit more these days. I don't know enough about him. But I just, I don't, I just love DC. All right. I'm, I, I, I think I, I mean, I think they're probably both pretty much well, well matched. Where they could probably save me in that situation. Yeah. Either one but could probably do the job. I kind of want to see. I guess I would want to see Batman and Superman, and maybe even John Constantine come to my rescue hmm. before I would want, you know, Spider Man to become the. Oh. Into the uh, into the Chris Reverse. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. You. 
into the pop story inverse. So yeah, I would I, I would probably I'll lean prefer. DC also. Um, I feel like I feel like crossing dimensions has something to do with speed, and DC uh, has the Flash. So, well, I mean, Marvel does have Quicksilver. True. They, got, they do have their own speed too. True. I don't know. Still lean DC personally. Yeah. Can't explain why. It probably goes back to that preference of like which characters do you like the bo- the most. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for my question? Yes, sir, I am. All right, here you go. If you would you rather would you rather be a world famous actor or a world famous singer? Uh. You didn't sound very impressed with that. No, that was a uh, that's a hard question too. I think I would much rather be a actor than a singer. Okay. Although actors, the thing that scares me about being an actor would be having to memorize a lot of dialogue. The thing that scares me about being a singer is the uh, the kind of consistency that's expected of you vocally having to perform mm-hmm. night after night after night after night. People expect you to sound like you do on the record. Well, to be fair, both those occupations and both those considerations do require training. Yes. And both those Presumably I would have said training. training. Yeah, if you would have those train that training. Which way would you go? Still go with actor. Still go with actor? Yeah. What would be the benefit? Why would you, why would you prefer acting? Hmm. You know, I got some hard follow-up questions. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I would find it to be more collaborative in terms of like working with other actors. In terms of like satisfying collaboration, although of course as a singer you'd be collaborating with musicians, yeah. so it's hard to say. And uh, audio artists as well, people in the booth. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I'm also more attracted to music, generally because of the instrumental themes that are involved. More so than lyrics. I'm not a. I'm more of a melody than lyrics kind of person. So maybe if you said, "Would you rather be an actor or a musician?" That would be a harder question. But specifically to sing, day after day, I think would get old much faster than being an actor. And also, singers, singers tend to get stuck singing their hits over and over. Actors can have a little bit more freedom to do, although there is typecasting, but you can still do different things. A lot of yeah. actors who are on sci-fi shows do theater, and there's yeah. a wide variety of possibilities. That's true. But it all comes down to personal preference, which I guess is the nature of the game. Do you have a question, the last question for me? I do, sir, and it's a doozy. Are you ready? I'm ready. You can only pick one. The other is erased from history. Star Wars or Batman? Oh. The other... I could only have one, and then the other one is gone. Nobody knows that one. Yep, you keep one, and the other is gone with the wind. Oh, that's so hard. That, That is a hard one. You know, I think I would keep, I think I would keep Batman. Oh, but Star Wars. And and Star Wars disappears. I think that's where I go. Hmm. And And the reason I say that is really kind of just where I'm at in my life right now. Mm hmm. Because 
I mean, Star Wars is fun, and I definitely want to go see the movie coming up in December. Mm-hmm. But I'm not as big a fan as I was like ten years ago when I collected all the action figures and right. watched like had all the movies and stuff. I haven't purchased I haven't purchased a new Star Wars movie since uh, Force Awakens. I still need to get Last Jedi mm-hmm. and uh, Rogue One. And so I think just what I'm into right now, I think uh, I think Batman would be my go-to. So kind of related to. Um what we talked about a couple episodes ago, do you feel like uh, Star Wars as a franchise has less room to mature with you as you get older and as you get into new things, whereas Batman has uh, more staying power? I think probably it's more of uh, what those franchises have geared them, what audience those franchises have geared towards these days. Gotcha. So, um... I'm kind of a little bit older. I am not, I don't feel like I'm a young guy looking for adventure like the Luke Skywalker. I'm maybe, maybe I'm more of a maturing, brooding kind of character. Mm -hmm. So maybe I I, I kind of look at Batman more uh, as my, for myself rather than maybe a Luke Skywalker, someone maturing, like maybe like a, a, a Ray character. You are the uh, you are the Dark Knight Returns era Batman, right? I think I think that's where I'm at. So that's why it appeals to me more. What about uh, the, the grizzled of... Han Solo? I, I I do like Han Solo, but also where Disney is kind of directing Star Wars, I think they're they're directing it much more to a younger audience mm-hmm. than say DC is for Batman. And then we kind of, they're still both franchises are gearing towards younger audiences trying to keep those and also having some older stuff um but i think overall i think disney's guiding star wars to younger audiences and uh, dc maybe trying to keep the older audiences a little bit i could be wrong about that but i don't know that's that's kind of where i'm going awesome well that was a that was a very well thought out uh, respectful and mature response. It's a Batman response. I would definitely pick Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that to me is like a, an entire universe of storytelling. And I know Batman exists in a uh, a DC universe, and I guess the implication is that the DC universe would remain, but... I don't know. Star Wars just means more to me, personally. Yeah, I can see that. What do you think, listeners? Let us know on Twitter. Put a hashtag on it. Popstorian Podcast. Or at Popstorian. Let us know. You got an answer? Put a hashtag on it. There you go. You can also follow Popstorian on Instagram or on Facebook. We have a website that's all schnazzy. A YouTube channel. Ooh, look at that. All right. So yeah, be sure to subscribe and uh, listen up for more minisodes and for our once monthly Westerns by the Decade series. And I think that's all for now. I think so.